Hello and welcome back to Dukescopy TV. I'm Natty MacDonald. Joining me in the studio now to discuss their latest CFO survey is Thierry Aubertin of Deloitte. Thierry, thank you very much for coming into the studio. It's a pleasure. Now, the latest CFO survey has portrayed a sense of uncertainty. Uh, what causes that uncertainty? Um, I, I think you're right. The, the survey clearly shows that there is a, a high level of, of uncertainty. Um, this quarter, we have seen uh, probably the same proportion of, of positive and negative outlook uh, in the mindset of the, uh, of the CFOs that we have surveyed. So what are, what are the, expl the explanations? Um, it is probably a, a good mix of, of positive and negative uh, factors. Uh, I think on the positive side, what we can see is, is uh, the domestic demand is seen as quite resilient in, in Switzerland, which is a, a very, good, uh, very good point. On the negative, we have the, uh, the regular uh, problems, which is the, the weak foreign demand, which is a big problem. Um, the Swiss franc continues to, uh, to be seen as, as by far too expensive as compared to other currencies. A and very important as well, uh, as well is the, um, the crisis in the European Union uh, in the, and, and in the Eurozone. Um, so I think these factors explain well why the, uh, uh, the CFOs show uh, some, uh, some uncertainty. Um, however, if you want to be positive and, and if we want to compare to the situation 12 months ago, uh, I think the situation is, is by far much, much better. Um, one year ago, uh, it was not uncertainty, it was clearly pessimism that we felt uh, with the CFO and, and so we have to take the, uh, the positive, uh, positive side of the, uh, of the situation. Another positive outcome from this survey, particularly compared to, say, in January when we spoke, is that a lot more CFOs are anticipating increased capital expenditure compared to the last three quarters. Is this something that you're seeing reflected in your discussion you know, with clients and, and with other banking organisations? I think that's a very interesting topic uh, around our survey this, um, this quarter. Um, clearly, uh, CFOs responded that they may increase their capital expenditure or at least they may stop reducing uh, it. A and I think that's a, a clear change in the trend that we, uh, we saw over the last four quarters. So I think it's clearly a, a positive signal. Um, how can we explain it? Um, here again, it's probably a combination of factors. One of them is still the cost of credit. Um, uh, credit is considered as being quite cheap by the CFOs. And, and here we've seen a record in our uh, three year survey uh, this quarter. So CFOs consider credit is very cheap. Uh, credit is also considered as, as quite um, reasonably uh, easy to obtain from the banks, which, which is good. Um, but probably the most important change uh, this quarter is that um, we think companies cannot stay too long without investing money. Um, they, they must prepare themselves for probably better times in the future. Um, and if they want to be in good shape when the market will be back, uh, they have to invest some money. Um, so I'm not doing any prediction and I don't think the survey shows any prediction, but, but this uh, trend may indicate that uh, companies want to get prepared for better times in the future. Um, and that is probably uh, an interesting trend. And, and obviously we will, uh, we will measure that in, in the Q4 survey and hopefully the trend is confirmed. Another big focus of the CFO survey is looking at what risks Swiss CFOs see sort of in the future. Uh, were there any sort of particular surprises this quarter? Uh, surprises? I, I don't know. Um, there is an interesting uh, feature when we ask uh, to the CFOs what, what are the big risks for them. And I think the vast majority mention mostly what I would call external risk, um, meaning the risk which are outside their, uh, their scope of, of, of intervention and, and, and which are uh, outside Switzerland mostly. Th those risks are basically uh, the situation in the Eurozone, um, the demand in foreign country, um, and, and also the exchange rate where the, uh, the Euro continues to be uh, seen uh, as very cheap as compared to, uh, to the Swiss franc. Um, on the other side, uh, when we uh, have a look to the domestic, uh, domestic risk, uh, we have the feeling that CFOs are not that much uh, afraid of this risk. Um, the biggest risk I mentioned uh, are uh, probably the domestic demand, but, but we've seen that it is quite resilient, a and the labor cost, but which are, are not that big problems for, uh, for uh, Swiss CFOs. What are the most popular strategies then that you're seeing companies en engage with if we sort of take all of this into account? 
In terms of strategies, I think, um, and it's not a big surprise, uh, we are in uh, what we call uncertain times, and, and so the strategies are mostly defensive strat strategies from the CFOs. Um, the top priorities of the CFO today, and they are very clear, are one, to reduce the cost, and two, to manage extremely seriously the cash flows of the company. Um, th these are really uh, uh, important results of, of the survey. It's amazing to see that 89% of the CFOs uh, declare that they have a cost uh, reduction program in place, which I, I think is, is, is huge. Um, this being said, companies also try to implement, uh, I would say, aggressive strategies to try to expand their business, even if it is of less importance for them. Um, on these uh, expansion strategies, we also see some prudence, where clearly the companies I put more emphasis on, on uh, what I call organic growth, so expanding your market share, um, maybe introducing new services, rather than on inorganic growth where they would try to uh, buy uh, new businesses, companies, or probably explore new geographies that they were not exploring for the time being. Thierry, thank you very much. We look forward to seeing the fourth quarter results. Sure. We'll be back shortly with more exclusive interviews, but stay tuned to Dukescopy TV. I'm <laughs> sorry.